welcome back. There are more woes for the man the police have charged with narcotics and attempted murder. Julia Johnson reports. Now hospitalized at the Georgetown Hospital, the saga of David Leander continues. Yesterday, Monday, his relatives were prevented from feeding him. They said that with more than eight police ranks at the hospital, they were prevented from entering the ward. A police source explained that as a prisoner on remand, Leander is not entitled to visitors. Asked about his relatives feeding him, thus their presence in the hospital, the source said that a nurse should be able to feed the patient. But relatives said that since Leander is unable to chew, feeding him is a laborious and time-consuming event, and time is not on the side of the nurses, who also have responsibility to the rest of the ward. Today, two of the relatives said that the police officers gathered at the hospital stated that they were instructed to take Leander to court this morning, but this was not to be. After he was examined by a doctor, he was ordered to have a MRI. It was scheduled to be conducted at the St. Joseph's Mercy Hospital sometime today. On Friday last, Leander was charged with being in possession of a narcotic and the attempted murder of one Randy Joseph. He was ordered to make another appearance at the Vigilance Magistrates Court on Thursday of this week. Last week, his relatives alleged that Leander was tortured. When he appeared in court, he had to be lifted. His ear oozed a yellow substance. One eye was bloodshot and swollen. He could not move his limbs independently. The hand with the gunshot wound had a steel pin that protruded. When Justice Jainarine Singh ordered that he be seen by a private doctor, he had to be lifted. The police said that Leander, whom they called David Zamet was wanted in connection with several murders, including that of Minister Sash Saw, his siblings, and a security guard. Reporting for Prime News, Julia Johnson.